You want to make an introduction this time? Welcome back to Legacy of Cain in the Shower. Yeah, you know what? This just makes me realize how I really don't like... Ah, oh man, I just really... I'm struggling to think how we're actually going to start working on our introductions. It just seems so forced. Maybe I should start letting it run through, and plus I don't necessarily need the image of a pasty white man like Cain showering. <laughs> oh, man. In fact, uh... I mean, it's pretty obvious we have no idea what we're doing when it comes to these Let's Plays. We're going to try to get better. We were actually just listening to the audio of the last episode to see it picked up. Realize how many mistakes of shit I fucking said. I was talking about an episode of uh, Angel, and I was saying how that in the episode with Kane's voice actor... Oh, we can't remember his name. Like, you, like we ever knew his name. I can't remember half the people I know his name. I mean, I don't want to be mean, but he's not, he, he's known as Kane. I, I, I don't want to he be has rude. a name. Why can't I blood suck? Because it hates you. Oh man, now I'm seriously having another issue of blood sucking. This x batter's not close. What the f- Oh man, this game's weird. I'm gonna have to deal with a bit of the PC port. I mean, this game, even the PC port, I think, is uh, a couple years old. Probably even older than Steam. Sorry, before I get too far, uh, get off track, I, I gotta correct myself how I said that Spike oh, said Angel. I said, I did I say Angel was haunting Angel? You said Angel was being haunted. Yeah, I said Angel was being haunted by Spike. I don't even know why the fuck I said something like that. So he was being haunted by the Kane's voice actor. Kane, this way. Oh wait. Oh man, maybe I just misheard myself. Vampire. Yoda. I just love it how that they don't have any like uh, <laughs> they have like these bug eyes, these frog eyes, and they just don't close between any reactions. I thought his neck looked weirder. Who knows? Maybe uh. What other groups? I already forgot what the, the meridians in this people staple people's eyes open so that they could stay and keep guard of all the vampires. Now, come, and you shall have it. Come back. I was alone at last in a city Aww. changed beyond Poor Kane. recognition, in a land that was under a curse. Should I follow her as she asked, or go my own way, find my own answers? You can go your but answers own were promised way. me in sanctuary. After that, I would know what to do. I'm gonna hang out near this hobo fire. It's not a feral fire. Well, it's a fancy hobo fire. Fair enough. Well, okay. The ritziest of hobos can come here. Now, when I was testing this game out for Let's Play, I think this is probably as far as I got. Oh, wait. Thank God for draw. Aw, oh, man. I thought the draw <laughs> distance was gonna take out the gate. <laughs> That's, oh, it just goes to an endless void over there. There's nothing down that way. Yeah, but maybe it will trigger a different you have to cutscene. Find a, a broken one? Okay, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't take There's away. a hobo fire. Yeah, that is definitely a hobo fire. People are so scared of opening chests. They scream before it even has magic coming out of it. Is this any worse of a trope than finding actual, like, uh, items within barrels in the middle of dungeons? I haven't seen the show, but I'm guessing that's what created, uh... uh there's a new anime called, uh, Meeting Girls in the Middle of Dungeons or something of the sort. What? Yeah, it's it's just an anime that's making fun of those tropes. Okay. don't know how good it is, but... Never heard of it. Dude, fucking, you probably didn't even know of, like, Attack on Titan until it came out on Toonami, man. You're not... I know of it, but because people wouldn't shut up about it. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Okay, I'm... But this one I've never heard of. You should... Oh, god damn it, that was probably pretty obvious. You should watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's fucking so goddamn stupid. It's amazing. How much have you watched of that? Oh, uh, four episodes, and it changed my life. Okay. N uh, my friend Nick hated it, though. I keep on trying to grab. I just... Oh, uh, there actually is a counter on uh, 
a tell telling how weak your weapon's getting. I guess it gets red. My bad. No surprise that I forgot things about this game. I mean, last time I played it, it was probably 12. Hell, uh, I hate to admit it, but I think I got halfway through the game, and that was with cheats. I don't Were you know some cheats. Uh, I don't know if I was uh, had an invincibility cheat, but there definitely I don't think so. there was a cheat where you could get the best armor and oh, the that. blood omen sword before uh, you could. I remember that. Yeah, so you just start out with the best armor and weapons. So no, no wonder it was pretty easy when I was younger. I saw a way to go, and I have a ladder. God damn it! Conveniently forgotten. Who knows? You gotta have a little heart for Let's Players. I know That's my... That's actually weird. What? This time frame, it doesn't feel like they would have wrought iron ladders. This... I don't think this is based on Earth. I think it's a... Or it could be an Earth. Uh, it's just... It's a fantasy game. You shouldn't necessarily worry about it. It's like, oh man, it has this technology, which is conflicting with this sort of magic. Okay, I can't um, open up that door, so I'm guessing I have to go across. Gotta get a running start. Gotta get myself prepared, stretch out my hammies. Did you see that? <laughs> are you asking me? You? Did you see what you just did? No, I didn't see anything. I'll keep watch, though. In case it happens again. You know, this weapon, maybe it's I just noticed the glow in his eyes are actually in front of his eyes. Yeah, that's like, of course, like all old games did, did things like that. Well, they usually didn't case the eye, at least. This makes it sort of look like he has really small shades in front of him. They're really shiny. He's got, uh, oh, that reminds me how I saw that there was uh, eye jewelry. Like, it was a contact that had essentially like an earring hanging from it. It was one of, the, one of the weirdest things. Stupid. Wow, this is the most obvious looking box I've ever seen. No, well, it glows. Uh, get it out in front of the door. All right. Thanks for teaching me how to use the boxes game. And I always jump through doors. This is a Get very weird city with like all these grates above people. Playing games, you're scaring me. Am I scaring you now? Oh! oh <laughs> I do not remember that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, now it's just cool. I'm sure I'm just spiking it. You're sucking it from his dick wound. All right, now you're projecting. That was obviously from his chest. I don't know what fetish. What? Is what hole was in his chest? You put spikes in his crotch. Well. I I think it was not bleeding from the chest. Okay, uh, maybe it's a uh, time to address it now, but first of all, I understand why they did this in the game. It was through limitations, and I'm it's glad. It's until Defiance where you can grab people and drain their blood. You you still suck their blood sometimes. Well, yeah, it's you just, could, but if you grab them, you can just strain their blood that way. Just with Defiance, they added finishing moves where you actually took a chomp in their neck. Well, like a real vampire. In this game, there's finishing moves. The yeah, stealth kills. Yeah, but not blood-sucking stealth kills. Believe me, no. I... I, I've tried using blood suck when I'm in stealth mode and it doesn't give me anything unless I'm not I... injured. Why would it do anything? I'm a vampire! I fucking bite into their necks! That does something! Well, yes, but in this game it's telekinetic blood draining. Oh, what would that be? The uh, uh, hemokinesis. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a shitty D&D &D name. I'm a bloodbender. Actually, kind of reminds me of freaking uh, cryokinesis from Third Strike. It's something. It was one of uh, Seth's moves. All right, there goes my weapon. It actually, lasted quite a bit longer. I'm just, I'm hating on this game for no reason. Kicked in the butt to death. And I just realized that I hadn't started a timer for uh, no. this episode. Yeah, we'll get better at these as we go along, we're not... No, technically I'm actually, I got telekinesis regardless, because I just picked up that club. Yeah, you're a vampire. What? what, what? He has telekinesis, that's one of the skills you can actually earn in this game. Uh... 
Oh, you're right. I can take over people's minds. I that's, remember that. That's not telekinesis. That's telepathy. Telekinesis is moving things of your mind. I don't remember. I, I, I remember super jump. Or super forward jump. It wasn't like a really long... It wasn't like a really vertical leap. I think you climb them? No, no, I can't climb that. This looked different than the other walls. I'm wearing my... Is that door open? Or can you break it open? I came through here. I... <laughs> that thing's sparkling. The... That... Gee, I wonder it? what this does. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have to go back up the elevator now. I didn't see it behind the thing. The... I don't know, would you... Power box? It's a green box. What would you call it? Magical conduit power box. It's a green box. So you get your favorite movies from there. No, they're back in this time. It's just shadow puppets. Hey, if you could take it home, that's still pretty interesting. This is a really expensive, like, vending machine that gives you shadow puppets. I mean, look at this guy. He's spending his time looking at a lever. Well, it's glowing. Games, you're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great noise. What, the crunch? No, the falling down. There we go. How do I hope I can't do the ground pound? I probably need to look up and there's probably some combos with directional inputs that I haven't figured out yet. I haven't upgraded in a while. Monty Python woman's ran by. Alright. That weird cackly scream. She just She's just spying. It looked like she was pissing like a man into that window. You know, I sort of thought that too. <laughs> it's a man in drag pissing into some Except for thinking, window. Oh shit. Except for thinking about that, I keep on pressing. Oh, I'm gonna focus on these. Except for, uh... It had her hands at their side, so, uh, do you just, uh... When you take a piss, do you just kind of let it go, like, uh, willy-dilly and free, and you're gonna let well, fate... Yeah, go Superman pose? Gonna let fate take over and see where your stream goes? That's, that's what my middle school taught. Everyone did that, right? Oh, you still okay, I remember this puzzle. Puzzle? Yes. I may be doing it wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Barbecues. Never mind. I think I'm doing it right. I just have to close this. I can't walk over that bump. I have to close this again. It opens up that one, but uh, because the box is here, it can't fully close. Ain't I a genius? Kane is a genius. Huh, from Ken and Lynch? They were also characters in that game. You should probably, since it's a different episode, talk about the game you were talking about. Tomb Raider, Temple of the Guardian, or whatever. I don't know the name of it. I like how you're speaking with authority. I don't I know the name, it's someone. something weird. Who's there? God, these it must are okay. The you're weirdest, human. like, mustache light I've Curious ever seen. You would help one such as I. We hate the Sarafan, we humans. The things they do In fact, if right, anything, it adds to their, like, sort of froggy look, them. because it kind of gives them, like, this, like, real Still wide mouth. By the way, you know, we totally didn't see that guy jump across through. screen. It will lead you to the smuggler's den. Careful, though. There's rogues down there that'll attack you on sight. They sort of look like ventriloquist go. dummies. Yeah. Just giant eyes and a separation from, like, their upper jaw, lower jaw. Wait! Tell Uma that I helped you, please. She promised me the dark gift if I did as she asked. You'll tell her, won't you? I'm certain Uma will give you all that you deserve. Vampire trope number four. What? That you Promising have... Promising things and then... That you have to hop? Yes. Yeah, that's a vampire trope. Well, it doesn't even matter anyways, because, oh no, this guy's totally gonna survive. No, he didn't have enough polygons to become a vampire. 
Wow, the drainage system of the city really is good because that just totally disappeared. Or those are really just porous bricks. Absorbent bricks. They're actually sponges. Wouldn't that turn them to up? soak up this filth and disease? You eluded the guards. They were only human. Welcome to one of the glories of our fair city, the Smuggler's Den. As squalid as you found the slums, you will find this place even more offensive. Rogues and thieves rule the streets, and of course the Seraphan too. And they just can't stop here. spitting out slurs. Small help from the inhabitants and more trouble. It's smuggler's Den, not Sailor's Den. You spoke of a smuggler. This is like such a 1950s joke. Yes, it is hidden somewhere in this district. Okay. I know not where. I have sent word to a member of the Cabal to help you. You will find him in a tavern deep within this district. Oh, don't remind me of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> There's been some bad news today about the PC port of Mortal Kombat X. It seems like that none of the DLC for Combat Pack 2 nor the enhanced online capabilities are going to be added to the PC version. So, uh, yeah, if you if you only own a PC, never buy a, a WB or another Realm Games again, because they really seem to not care about that part of their audience. Oh, wait, I don't have a weapon anymore. I could probably just then ignore these people. Not even anyone there to fight. Fine, I'll start not well, killing same, everyone yeah. I see like I'm same, not a there's sociopath. No, there's no need to have a weapon if there's no one that's fighting back. You can just beat them to death if you had to. So or you. really wanted to. What, you can't beat that guy to death with your hands? Or kick him in the butt repeatedly like you like to do? Dude, you can know Kung Fu. I have no money. Cut your ears off. <laughs> That's kind of a brutal way to take a person out, and he's still crawling! After one kick to the balls like that, I think I'd probably play dead. Even if he did siphon all of his blood out of me. All of his blood out of me. Brilliant. But really weird. He yeah, fights just, dirty, damn it. I'll transfer all my blood through you. Well, he could have a disease. What if he's got the hiv? That would it'd still kill him, but it wouldn't be pleasant for me either. And I, my body probably... Oh, it, it's timed. Oh, that guess that totally was nothing. And I keep on trying to grab. <gasps> Dude, what was that noise? <laughs> She yawned. What do you, what do you, what? you she wiped her Can boots off of her! I hated that bitch. I wouldn't piss on her if she was on fire and I was across the street. <laughs> Create a vacuum in her chest. Nope, now you have. I honestly, uh, because I know, I remember some of the instant kills from this game. I even thought with a club that you would get, uh, splitting them in half from a club. No. You get that from that. You need well, you wouldn't, but I'm saying this game probably try, tried to save on memory, I guess. I'm giving, I'm not giving it the benefit of I the doubt. I don't think it does that. All Can right, you push so. that? No. Look, you see this thing? That means I'm gonna have to get power to it. Uh, and see the box. A mic's in front of the box. The microphone. More shiny boxes that are mysteriously left behind. A chest on wood like this, I feel it would just sink right through. What? This is like what? Like, uh. Like, uh. Old, old dead wood. Old dead. Rotten. Wet. Not the strongest of material when it comes to wood. What do we have? Hey, I actually pressed the right block button this time. And I pressed the wrong attack button that time. <laughs> it's already dead. I don't know, man. Too much to see. I want to know if it's going to fill the entire screen once I'm done with the game and I can't get down that stick. 
It seems to be weird. I don't remember that in the Xbox version. What? Uh, Getting caught on all the door frames and tiniest ledges. Eh, whatever. It seems weird. Yeah, it's a little annoying, but I don't know. Maybe we were just used to these sort of things when we were playing older games. I don't remember that. Eh, I don't know. You just tend to avoid all these, uh... I didn't play as much of this as I did, like, Soul Reaver 2. I didn't even know you played any of those games. I played some Soul Reaver 2. And some Defiance. I never finished them because we didn't own them. Well, yeah, I, I, I've i never owned, like, uh, besides Blood Omen 2, I haven't owned any of these games until I bought them on Steam. Nope, don't want to go that way. They'll dissolve quicker than cotton candy. Some vampires made of cotton candy? The most evil kind of cotton candy. Licorice flavor. Blue. No, actually, he's just plain, judging by his hair color. Uh, well, if I'm not wrong, isn't there actually no difference to the flavors between... Is it just color? That's what... Like non believers think. Candy floss. What is that? Pavlovian cotton candy? Or is that like Schroedner's candy? What? Candy floss? No, no, no. I'm saying it, it's. It, you only believe in the flavor? <laughs> oh. God, I'm really shit. Oh shit. Wow, that was loud. Apparently it's made of glass. Who knew? I'm surprised how I'm sucking so bad at what would be the simplest form of, like, combat in this game. Alright, so it's a pretty simple. I just have to get her once she's done attacking, like, right when she's done attacking. Now you chase her for the next 20 minutes. Okay, I could actually hit her. I thought, I thought I'd have to get her out of wall because I didn't want to just be, like, playing a game where I'm, like, just constantly doing that at her back. Messing because... Every Five seconds. Because you know action. You have to stop right. to do an action. Let's see. That's what how you have to is. actually move through your life. It's true fact. Okay, can't open that. This one I can open. It's just for a chest. <laughs> What's inside? Oh no, it's Uma's head. Uma's head? Uma's the vampire chick. From... this. Oh, that's her name? Isn't that what the one guy called her? I don't I don't know. I haven't, I haven't been paying attention that much. She died. Oh, wait, I gotta take this person out. Oh, shit, what? Oh, no, why am I changing targets? Because you want to kill the innocent first. To make that person grieve. Feel like they failed saving those people. Now I got a blade. The sword looks really small. It's a dagger. It's a, well, to, well, to be big. honest, dude. I it's mean, like, if, if if you got stabbed in the stomach by something like this, do you think you'd like? Oh, that's not. No, I think nothing. it's just his hands look really big. Okay, I'm gonna see if I have to go back downstairs. Probably. Well, yes. You can try going to the door. No, the pipe leads down here. Well, yeah, but I'm saying you can see what's through the door first. Another lever for another pipe to power something else, because this game has to give me busy work. Kane likes busy work. That took a while. Yeah, the the transfer of power of this game actually is kind of slow. It's, maybe it's liquid. Ooh, and I haven't even used this weapon that much, so that's pretty good. Glowy purple evil. Oh, no, actually, purple is the color of evil, actually. And royalty. <gasps> oh, man. Coincidence? What was that? Actually. <laughs> he comes back. <laughs> I really need to come back to the bar. Well, it's fucking cold out. I mean, like, there's nothing but a freezing fog to shrivel your nards. And that green wall. Okay, so. Let's hear a baby. Yeah. Oh no. 
I just didn't expect to hear a baby. Oh, I guess I was just too fast. Gotta go fast. Don't worry the fact that I'm turning off specifically this <laughs> gate that is only supposed <laughs> Did you to- Did hear that? He can smell it if he's not getting his proper share. I c My bad. Way. That'd be such a weird, horrifying thing to see. Damn it. Why'd you put it away? I put it away automatically. Hey, this one actually has a, a attack from the ground. No, so did the other one, just the triggers seem almost randomly. Yeah, so it does just seem to just happen randomly. He's probably not quite dead yet, so it targeted him on him on the ground this time. Ah! Ah! She stubbed her toe. Hey, I feel for it, man. That stuff always hurts. Yeah, I don't want to put you. Come over here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, I guess I can't do that. No. Ow! And she's alive. She doesn't have a heart. Or she has that stupid disorder from... Doctor Who? Two no, hearts? Ninja that's Assassin. That's a terrible disorder. No, I'm talking about Ninja Assassin. That movie that came out, like, what, eight years ago or so? The, like, pop star named Rain or something? I have absolutely no, not even the faintest idea of what you're talking about. It's a, like some kung fu movie and there's this whole trope through the movies. The guy, like, survived, a, he almost got killed once and his heart is, like, reversed. It's on, you know, your heart sort of is to your left on your chest. Uh-huh. His is to the right. Oh, uh, that kind of reminds me of, uh... And it happens, like, three times that movie. That different people have that same disorder. Uh-huh. Kind of reminds me of that Justice League movie we watched, and uh, Superman was able to tell that it was it was a different Lex Luthor because his heart was on the reverse side of his body. Because for some reason, Lex Luthor just constantly uses... I mean, oh, I mean, Superman constantly uses his x-ray vision on people randomly. I mean, you actually think there's a whole lot of flaw to that... Be uh, yeah, a whole lot of flaw. There's a flaw to that sort of thinking, because why would Superman think that would be a way to prove that he isn't... He's a Lex Luthor from another universe? Does, I mean, I guess it's... Is the heart different in every universe? I mean, does Lex Luthor somehow know that already and goes like, I can prove it to you! Look how my heart's on Actually, that might have been what happened. Well, how would he know? Did he see he's someone? Lex Luthor he knows everything. Does he? Uh, do, well, like he's a twelfth level genius in that world, and that basically means he's almost as smart as God. Well, <laughs> I'm just like wondering if it's like he was through that <clears throat> his quick time within that in within the normal universe, he saw somebody's chest exposed and he could see their heart. What? Never mind, forget about it. Anyways, on that note, I'm guessing maybe we should end our second episode here. With these lovely corpses and rats. In clean, fresh water. Mm, the best of water, it glows.